friends and welcome back. Today I am going to be talking you through, walking you through, rolling you through how I travel as a wheelchair user by an aeroplane. We travelled London Gatwick to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Sure that pronunciation was terrible and I wanted to share the journey and the experience with you. If you like these kind of videos, I have done traveling to Orlando. I've also done traveling to LA solo as well, so be sure to check those out. Also, make sure you watch this video right through to the end because I have one of the best tips I have ever been given as a wheelchair traveling. Make sure you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Final warning? <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Oh, I'm so cold. Time to go. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning at this very ungodly hour of four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Can you guess where we're going? Can you guess? Can you guess? <laughs> That's right, we're going to Disney. We're going to Disney Paris. I like to book parking through Gatwick Airport and I like to choose the option where I keep my keys so I know that the car is staying exactly in the airport terminal. Super easy and super easy when you come back from your trip as well. Check-in for EasyJet is all done online. I think I did it a month before we were due to travel and they had these self-service check-in desks. You can pay to have speedy boarding but if you have a disability and you have special assistance then you go to the speedy boarding where you don't have to queue and it's called um, EasyJet Plus. So we've we checked in the bags. Those are always stressful. And now I'm just phoning the phone for the special assistant, which actually I can't reach. So that's a bit of a design flaw. <laughs> and hopefully someone will help us you through security. Yeah. Okay. Ew. Yeah, well. There's, there's nothing. Oh, it's ringing. I feel like I'm on a game show or something. Oh my God, I know. Could I have um, requested a special assistant? Yes. Yes. Level two, lift left. Okay, thank you. Bye. You can book your special assistance up to about two weeks before you travel. I actually booked the special assistance as soon as I made the booking and I'm glad I did because they are so busy at the moment so it's taking a lot longer than usual for questions to be answered. When you do that I did it all through email so I had everything in writing and they'll ask you questions like how heavy your wheelchair is, if, is it, if, <laughs> if it is electric um, and whether you can walk at all or if you need an aisle chair to get onto the aircraft. Sean, ready? Oh. You smiling? Gemma Hubbard, I've got a special assistant. Step up to the plane. No. no. Can you walk from the plane door to your seat? No. No, you need an aisle chair. Oh. Is the wheelchair electric or manual? Manual. Oh. We have another check another check-in desk like this one after security. So please, if you can go there. And from that desk, my colleagues will take you down to the gate. Yeah, we're going to Paris, yeah? We've just come through security. Strict search. Yeah. Obviously we can't film the security, but that was quite smooth. They're all very well trained there and I just sailed straight in and out.
I've just checked in with the special assistance desk. I've got my pager. This is going to go off at seven. It's only about five. We are all absolutely starving. So we're going to go and get something to eat now. The special assistance lounge. It opens out right onto the main terminal where all of the um, duty free shops are and the restaurants and cafes are. And you can come and go as you please. And there's also an accessible toilet as well. Have this feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so. Hold me towards you and I can't fight it. My head's underwater, I try to disguise it. Want you to hold me though we haven't spoken. I need a something to get me to open. This tastes exactly how I thought it would taste. Not 100% great. I think my taste buds are different because it's like so early in the morning. We've had to come back to the special assistance lounge because the little lift to take me up to Pret a Manger was out of order. But actually, it's quite nice in here because it's quite quiet and the lights are dimmed as well, so it's a bit more calm. Which is fantastic for people with disabilities such as autism, where light and uh, sound can be quite overwhelming, and it was just very, very peaceful in there and I've just had my bacon roll and I'm <laughs> feeling slightly better now I think I just need some coffee you might notice in this video that I'm a little bit sleepy and drowsy and that is because I took Studeron and it's a travel sickness tablet goes off you go to the special assistance desk and they tell you what gate you need to go to we make our own way to the gate so they will be expecting us but when I traveled solo to LA I requested for a special assistance person to escort me they carried my bag and made sure I didn't get lost or distracted along the way it's today eh? Do you want to get a bus, Daisy? These little buggies that you can see are for people who have walking disabilities or for whatever reason can't walk to airplane gates. Um, and if you've booked special assistance, you can specify if you need these. <laughs> You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. Me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. aisle chair which will take me straight to my aircraft seat it's easy for me to transfer into the arms slide up and down something else that I do once I get to the plane door is take photos of my wheelchair as evidence whenever I fly I always tend to board the aircraft first it enables you to you know take a little bit of extra time and make sure that you have got space to put your bags up in the overhead lockers and I uploaded a video to Instagram showing me using the aisle chair and boarding the plane. A lot of people had questions about my wheelchair cushion. Now it's a fabulous idea to make sure that you take your wheelchair cushion off and take it with you into the aircraft it's because my wheelchair cushion is great for stability. It's a Stimulite Supracore cushion and it makes sure that my hips and everything are in aligned, which minimizes pain, especially if you're going on a long flight and also it's prone 
going to developing pressure sores, you're going to be wanting to sit on your cushion. Another reason you want to take your cushion off is because we don't want them getting lost. And if you were to lose your cushion, which I have done, it can ruin the holiday. Hi, Daisy. We've only got across the channel. Still. <laughs> it's very neat, isn't it? We've arrived, we've landed, we're just waiting for the aisle chair and my wheelchair hopefully all good my chair should be brought up to the plane gate and the special assistants will come with the aisle chair to take me off the plane we've been waiting a little while haven't we Jen? this is where we get worried gem of a tip here see what i did when you arrive at your destination if you have requested to have your wheelchair at the aircraft door make sure it is there before you get off the plane before you get into the aisle chair when we arrived back at london gatwick they had the aisle chair ready for me when i said okay is my wheelchair there and they said no cue gems diva moment I said, well i'm not getting off the plane until my wheelchair is at the aircraft my heart was going and i felt really really adrenaline-y but i kept calm and then they all bounced into action. And I heard them talking to the captain. If I am on the plane and my wheelchair is not there, it's the captain's responsibility for me and my wheelchair. As soon as you step off that plane, it is no longer their responsibility. And they will move heaven and earth to make sure that your wheelchair is found because time is money so they are not going to be wanting the plane to be sat there longer than its allocated slot especially if passengers are waiting to get onto the aircraft also aviation laws very very strict the pilot and the crew have very strict working times to stop them from being fatigued and if they go over that can be really dangerous so they're going to make sure that your wheelchair is there so after a few tense, stressful moments and a few sideways looks, they said, yes, your wheelchair is there. But honestly, if I hadn't have known that tip, I would have got into the aisle chair and I would have got off the plane without my wheelchair being there. This was fine, that's fine. I'm not Ready? strapped in this time. <laughs> au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Finally we get off the plane and as you can see this aisle chair in France is a little bit different from the UK one. This one has no straps or anything so I had to hold my legs in place and I felt very very uneasy. I'm really pleased to report that my wheelchair was absolutely fine. There is a tiny little bit of a scrap um, on the side guards where it has got caught on something but honestly I can't complain. <laughs> by going on to like these lift cars that kind of move up and down and then they will drive you straight to the airport terminal. Yeah, passport control and the baggage list. The French person who um, assisted us through the airport was so, so nice. And unfortunately I didn't catch his name, but he was absolutely lovely, really, really efficient. He 
breezed us through the airport. He took us straight through security. We didn't have to queue. And then he took us straight to get our bags and he helped us get our bags. And then we made it to our car. We're through, we made it. And our premier car man has come. Our fancy. Whoa. What? Just kick back and watch a movie. Our own oh, TV okay. and all. Case in the boot. I think it was around about a 40 minute drive to our hotel, which I was quite glad about because I was feeling a little bit rough from the Studeron and also getting up at 3 a.m. And then we got to the hotel and it was such an exciting feeling and the hotel was absolutely beautiful. We're here, we made it. That has been my video on how I travel as a wheelchair user. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful. Hopefully just by me kind of walking you or rolling you through the procedure, it kind of puts your mind at rest if you're traveling for the first time or maybe the first time since 2020. The next video will be park video. I'll be showing you the accessibility there and transferring on and off the rides. If you're really excited for that and you can't wait, then don't forget I have made similar videos in the Magic Kingdom in Florida. I recommend you go and watch that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.